What is up you guys? It is true, Brawl Stars is officially going global. So yeah, I mean, let's just be honest. Supercell trolled a little bit and uh, left people hanging. I know a lot of people were desperate to find out uh, information about what was happening to Brawl Stars. And now we know some of us maybe knew it all along, but that's part of the hype. And just to clear this up right away, I do plan on making videos about Brawl Stars but it is not going to cut into my Clash of Clans videos. Those are going to be first and foremost. But now finally Brawl Stars confirmed to go global. So Galadon doesn't have to worry about the Smashland flashbacks that I might have from time to time. As you can see, uh, I am brand new in the game. This is going to be the Let's Play account. And you ready for this, you guys? Are you may not believe me when I tell you, but this is the plan. This account right here, no gems. Okay, now now gem grab, of course, the first multiplayer, but no gems. I am going to play this normal progression to see how it feels and to see if, you know, just exactly what it's like to play a game progressing without paying, and we will see. So, again, now I admittedly have played this before, but not a lot. Like I told you in previous episodes, I tried to stay away from that. I tried to avoid getting too into it. I wanted it to be fresh and new, just as it is fresh and new for you guys when it goes global. So this Let's Play series again will start before it goes global with the idea that by the time it goes global, you'll have some Galadon videos to entertain yourself with and maybe a little bit of education. Now, of course, there are fantastically talented and skilled YouTubers like Lex and Kairos and many, many more who you guys will become very familiar with in the coming days, weeks, and months. I intend to collaborate with those guys, to talk to them, to have them on and talk strategy and that sort of thing. And maybe they can help teach me a few things. Like the fact that, well, if you're going to try to rank up a player, doing what I did here is not ideal. Okay, now of course I picked up the gems. And you need the gems, the 10 gems, to go into countdown in order for your side to win. But, aggression earns trophies. Check it out. Yeah, that's right. Zero. Zero trophies. So I get six for the victory, and that's it. That other guy had 30-something trophies. And now, of course, I get the key rewards, but again, if you're looking at strictly ranking up, unlocking content, you need trophies. And so I didn't realize that when I was first playing these games. So right there, first tip, be aggressive, be, be aggressive. Get in there and you've got to uh, shoot down those other players because that is where you're going to benefit from ranking up a newer or lower level tune like these guys. So again, this is Shelly. She's the first one that you unlock. And then as you progress, we'll show that in a couple of minutes, you will unlock all sorts of new maps, new characters, new brawl boxes, uh, stuff that I don't even know what it is. I mean, seriously, I am not as familiar with this game as I was when it first came out in beta. If you guys recall the mine live stream that Powerbang and I cast, that was amazing. It was a lot of fun, but boy, we have come a long way from those days. And again, I love to cast, I love to shoutcast and talk about games like this, so I'm hoping that this is something that I'll be able to talk about more in the future because, hey, let's just be real. I'll never be that ultra pro player, but I can talk about ultra pro players, so maybe we'll have them on as well. Again, we've got another victory happening right here, and again, I picked up most of the gems, which... I didn't yet realize didn't really do much for you. So you want to get those points, you want to level up with trophies, then you're going to need more than just picking up gems. So here we go. Again, 10 gems gets you into countdown, and then you really want to play defensively at that point. But I, I don't know, it feels like I'm playing bots. These guys are way too easy. Way too easy to defeat this early on. And of course that guy with the uh, ninja, not ninja, the other guy with the Chinese or Japanese characters, that guy was insanely good. I mean, what, 42 trophies? Are you kidding me right now? Star play, no, that's Korean. That, I think that's Korean, not Japanese or Chinese. But anyway, congrats to that guy. Uh, and then the other guy, 36. And then even though I like basically grabbed all the gems, I only got six. So we ranked up Shelly, so there's that. And we got the key rewards as well. 
So let's go ahead and play one more game. Again, I'm not going to go over, say, the basic fundamentals of the game because those are taught to you in the tutorial. You will learn how to shoot, how to aim, how your super works, how you need to save up for the super, and of course, the idea, the general gameplay for this first map, Gem Mine. Really, the team that controls the center is usually going to win because that's where all the gems are spawning and again it's offense and defense you need to know when to run away watching your health watching how many shots that you have saved up and whether or not your super is ready and then more advanced gameplay you know being aware of whether or not your opponents have a shot saved up whether or not they have a super ready and the different abilities you can see lots of different players on the screen right here different characters with different strengths and weaknesses and we will get into that in the future and that's also where we will try to tap into some of the expertise of these other guys that have been so dedicated to making amazing Brawl Stars content. We hope to talk to Lex, Kairos, and a bunch of other good guys. Uh, obviously, I met them. You might be noticing that if you're watching the Brawl Stars live stream. And uh, yeah, they're good. They're amazing, and they're really good at getting their points across in a creative way. So I look forward to a whole new community, a whole new game, and who knows? I mean, the game is very different than anything Supercell has ever put out. This is a team-based game. Will it make it bigger than Clash of Clans or Clash Royale, or will it have more difficulty growing? There's really no way to tell, but I do know this. This game is a lot of fun. Okay, once I start playing it, it's so easy to get into match after match after match, and uh, it really just, I, I'm looking forward to unlocking the new characters and of course the new map content. We will show that in just a second as we finish dominating yet another game right here. Okay, maybe again it was mostly the other guys on the team, but I did okay. I, I did okay. You can see here I'm just about out of health, but aggressive and this time I did a little bit better. So this time we picked up 12. Again, the Korean guy with 48, Ninja with 42. So, you know, maybe that's not their first rodeo. I don't know. Like I said, don't don't count on me to be top player in the world. That's not going to happen, but we're going to have a lot of fun. And we are going to work on leveling up this account organically. No gem purchases. This is going to be the Let's Play. Here we are, number one, Galadon level one. And again, so we can see that the league reward, this is the trophy road. This is incredibly long. Okay, watch, watch the length of this trophy road. This shows that Supercell put a significant amount of thought and time into the development of this game before it goes global. And I'll tell you right now, now I'm unlocking Nita, the second character. Remember Smash Land, the game I talked about? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure the reason Smash Land got killed was because they did not develop the end game enough. They did not develop a game that would last or be playable for years. This game, it definitely has that potential. Look at the trophy road, okay? We're just we're just basically crawling our way up. But as you can see, at 200 trophies, then at 250, you unlock Bull. At 500, you unlock Jesse, who is a lot of fun to play as well. You pick up different loot, different boxes, special events. You get Brock at 1,000 trophies and keep going, man. And this is crazy. You think, oh man, this must go to like, like three or 4,000, right? No, no, this is... This is crazy, the length of the trophy road, okay? We're just we're just scratching the surface right here. Look at this, you guys. There's 4,000 trophies. Now, don't think Clash of Clans, don't even think Clash Royale, okay? When you're thinking trophies, there's 6,000, all right? There's 7,000. Here we go at 8,000 trophies. So again, how long is this going to take? Again, it's about leveling up the characters because this goes right now all the way to 14,000 trophies. That is going to take a lot of time, a lot of time invested. And, well, you know what? If the game is a lot of fun to play, people won't have a problem trying it. You can see here again are the characters that unlock. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion. We're going to do this without gems. And if it feels bad, I will let you know. I am not biased. Nobody's paying me to make these videos. I don't work for Supercell, despite what people keep on telling me for years. I kind of wish I did, but I don't. I am going to tell you. If there's things about this game I don't like, you will hear them. So you can count on me for my honest opinion and for some tips, tricks, 
pro tips, and of course the Let's Play gameplay. So thank you guys as always for sticking around. I hope that you guys are excited. I hope that you're watching the Brawl Stars live stream on Brawl Stars YouTube channel right now that I was lucky to be a part of. And that's going to do it. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. I don't have a fancy Brawl Stars outro. So I'll see you again tomorrow for more full attacks. I guess we just put that at the end. Sorry, Peter, not for you. What?